it's time for another Dirt Daily, and today I'm going to show you a cool little project that I've been working on. Uh, my buddy is about to have his 50th birthday. Uh, yeah, he's really old. And one of the things that he wanted was a Jeep grill that's a light that he can mount on his wall. Um, I don't think he wanted it when he was 50 because he gave me this Jeep grill probably two or three years ago and I just haven't really gotten around to it and I decided he really ought to get this project done because he's probably going to want it for his birthday. So uh, basically the way this is going to work is this grill is going to mount on the wall and the headlights will light up and you can use it as like a light in your living room or your, your man cave, your bar, your garage, wherever. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, I've seen some videos where people have drilled holes in the headlights in order to put 110 volt outlets, or like, not outlets, lights into the headlights. Uh, basically, the Jeep grill runs off of 12 volts, most likely, if it's a non-military Jeep. So your headlights are 12 volts. Your house runs off 115 volts. And your house is AC your Jeep is DC, so you need a way to either have the thing run off of 110, just like the rest of your house, or you have to convert it. And I decided to keep the headlights and come up with a way to convert from 110 volts to 12, 13 volts. Um, and this is the unit that does that. Uh, this is from a company called Pyramid. It's a power supply. Um, this isn't a five amp version. So the way it'll work is you can see there's a uh, positive terminal, a uh, negative terminal. There's a place to plug it in. There's a power switch. So what I did was I ran um, some basically two wire cable all the way from this. And then it runs up into the bottom of the grill here. And then I'm going to turn this around and kind of show you what's going on. It comes up and it runs to each headlight. And I'm only using the low beam circuit. I'm not using the high beam circuit. Um, and then you could also you could use the turn signal marker lights. This one did not have uh, lights in it. So I just got some orange reflectors, stuck those on there. Uh, they have like adhesive back. And so those won't light up. I was a little bit concerned about how much amperage this would pull if I had all the lights working. So I went with just the headlights. Um, this is a five amp version, but looking through their little paperwork, they also offer a 10 amp, 12 amp, six amp, and two and a half amp pyramid. Uh, it comes from, well, I got it from Radio Shack. Believe it or not, there's still a Radio Shack in business. And I added a lot of extra cable so that he can kind of hang it on the wall wherever he wants, route the cable however he wants. This will be the actual on off switch. So it'll, ha wherever this mounts, whether he puts it on like a countertop or like down on the floor, this will be the switch to turn it on and off. I thought about putting another switch on the side of it, but it was kind of getting too complicated. Um, so it's pretty clean and simple. So the next step, is I will plug this in and shut off the headlight or the overhead lights in here and show you how it works. Oh, I also mounted a piece of chain. You can probably see it running through there. Um, that's so that he can mount it to something. It's, it's not light, uh, I mean, it's not heavy, but it's like a big piece of artwork that he's gonna wanna mount on the wall. So this would be a way that he can do that. So if you're looking to do one of these, you're trying to figure out what's the best system, um, look into Pyramid. You can get them at Radio Shack. You can probably order it online. Let's see, there's probably a website here. Pyle, P-Y-L-E-U-S-A dot com. Uh, contact us. So yeah, Pyle USA. So you can probably order that online if you don't have a Radio Shack in your hometown. I'm gonna plug this in over here. Turn off the lights and Look at that, pretty cool. Oh, one more thing. I uh, took a sandblaster and I kind of sandblasted the headlights 
the glass just a little bit um, to try and diffuse it so it wasn't too bright or glaring. Kind of depending on what height he wants to hang it, you don't want it like shooting you like a deer in the headlights. So that's a pretty cool, simple little project. Whether you have a Toyota grill, a Jeep grill, or Chevy, whatever old grill you want, check it out. This thing's kind of cool. Converts from 110 down to 12 volts and you can plug it wired into your headlights um, and you can have a cool wall light. That's it for this Dirt Daily. We'll see you guys next time.